Hey, welcome all of all to our wonderful birthday special. Well, this is our birthday special for 2014. Let's we got quid. Well, let's we got quid. I'm using the, um, I'm using my Sony Bloggy because of my, uh, my, um, flip batteries are still charging from last night's S&R. Now we haven't started. We haven't gotten to that yet. But we got... What? I got... Two ordinary sky guests and one says asking for trouble. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We got three sky guests in the form of... Office Scott Productions, Michael's Paradise, and Rainy on no Koopa. Uh, Rainy on no Koopa. Rainy on no Fox. Okay. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mikey. Take it away. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Of course, we're doing the birthday special for Matthew P. 216 So we got four segments. That's going to be fun. And hopes. We can finally win him a million on wheel. <laughs> I'll be a naughty. Well, first, let's do who wants to be a millionaire shit. I mean, I'm not gonna play that game. Who wants to be a millionaire shit? No, it's millionaire second edition. To be a millionaire. <laughs> Double bub. Well, I thought. Name is <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. How you doing? Uh -huh. Welcome to the show. How many play? Thank you. Uh, okay, so you're open. Jesus. I've been burping all day, folks. I've been doing that in all these videos. Nothing but bumping and belching. Yeah, but I got the you know what, so that ain't good. So I gotta be careful with what I eat. Oh, by the way, I'm, you know, I'm sending out a Let's take a look at the first question. I know, she's gonna go through it probably tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Richard thinks it's not a spice. Dale, aniseed, cucumber, cayenne. A spice. A cucumber. No, because a cucumber is a vegetable. You won the hundred, but before you pat yourself on the back, you've still got 14 more questions to go. Now let's take a look at your $200 question. Oh, I pat myself on the back. <laughs> People who are, suppo are supposed to drive left-hand side of the world in which country? France, Italy, England, Germany. England final. Okay. So you're putting your money on C. And you're right! $200 level. Big deal. And here's the $300 question. Boy, he just is getting testy. According to the children's nursing rhyme, what type of ulcer did Columbus sail in 1492? Calm, blue, windy, really big. Let's ask the audience. Pretty strong results. What yeah. do you think? 
You have 15 seconds to answer. Beep blue final. Hoping the numbers don't lie, I see. It's only 98. That's it. They don't lie. Okay, you now have $300, just 12 questions to go. And now let's go on to your $500 question. An Arthurian legend, who is married to Guinevere? Merlin, King Arthur, Lancelot, Camelot. King Arthur B. Final. B. Hmm. Okay. You're right. Can't be Merlin, because he's a wizard. You're up to $500, inching ever closer to the $1 million question. Okay, here it is. Time now for your $1,000 question. Here we go. Which of these television series was not set in the U.S.? Pick Fences, M.A.S.H., Northern Exposure, The Paper Chase. B. M.A.S.H. Final. You think it's B. That's it. Hey, that was great. You won $1,000. You're now just 10 questions away from the big $1 million jackpot. And you've reached a safe haven. No matter what you do from here on in, you cannot lose that $1,000. Now, for $2,000, here it comes. Who was not one of the Cartwright sons on the TV series, Bon TV series Bonanza? Adam, the Joe, Hoss, Ben. Oh goodness. Oh boy. Oh. Okay. So, okay then. Let's phone a friend. I know just the person to call for this question. Hello, this is Veronica. Veronica, how are you? Hey, Regis. You know I've got a millionaire question for you. Do you have time? Of course I have time. All right. Well, uh, here's the question. Uh, rumor has it there's a big screen remake of Bonanza in the works. They want to use Drew Carey as Hoss Cartwright, Brad Pitt as Little Joe, and then Salma Hayek as Hop Singh. And to revive Lauren Green's character of Ben, the Cartwright family patriarch, they're going to do that weird computer animation. E. The answer is Ben. D. You're going with D? D. Ben. A pleasure as always, Veronica. Thanks. All right, see ya. She sure about that? She says it's D. What do you say? Which one of these is not a son on the TV, the Cartwright sons on the TV series, Bonanza? Sure. I, I think it is, Ben. I've never seen Bonanza. I'm gonna go with her advice. Going with my yeah, friend's take answer. You can do, man. Take her and you are correct. She got us right for it. You've reached two thousand yeah. dollars and moving right along in just nine questions to go. You're going for four thousand dollars. Good luck. In horse racing, what is the term for a wrangler on the first, second, third place finisher in a specific race? Triple action, trifecta, exacta, triple crown. Okay, it's not a triple crown because that's three championship races. It can't be a triple action because it's not even close to a photo finish. And it's not exact because exact has to be perfect. The only thing that comes into mind is a trifecta. And that's where Wengler's finish first, second, and third right off. B, trifecta, final answer. So you say it's answer B. 
And you couldn't be more right. Okay, you're at $4,000. Just eight questions away from the million. Up next, your $8,000 question. Here we go. Which one of these world leaders was assassinated? Adair Gandhi, Fernand Marcos, Golda Meir, Neville Chamberlain. I know the answer. Because she was assassinated by a time after her father's. I'm going to go with Indira Gandhi A. Final answer. So you're going with A, huh? You got it. Hey, you're past the halfway point now. You've won $8,000. Seven questions to go. Up next, your $16,000 question. Here it is. Which of these vitamins was first to be named? Vitamin A, vitamin B12, vitamin E, vitamin of Vitamin of Benjamin. Wow, <laughs> try to say that ten times fast. That'll be hard. Which one of these vitamins was named first? Shoot, it's the only thing that comes into mind. 50-50. Open with the 50-50 option. Computer, would you please eliminate two of the four answers, leaving only one wrong answer and the correct answer? Ah! Alright, there it is. You now have 15 seconds to choose. Vitamin A. Vitamin A, Vitamin B12. Are those the two things you were thinking of? That's the two I was thinking of. Oh, boy. I hate when it's always comes down to a 50 50. Because vitamin C, you know, that was the name first, and vitamin B, I'm going to slap myself silly. Say this. Vitamin B, fuck, I can't even say it. Vitamin B, 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 that's the tongue twister. So we're not gonna go with whatever I'm, I'm gonna try to say. <laughs> oh wow, Spider-Man A. Which one of these vitamins was named first? I think it was vitamin B12 is, I think it's slightly, it could be slightly before vitamin A, or is it slightly after vitamin A? Huh? Not what I had in mind. Well, what I had in mind was, it has to be either one of those two. I think I know it. 
just vitamin B12 is likely after vitamin A, because vitamin A was the first to be run over 100 years ago. So why don't we go with... Vitamin A, A, final answer. Alright, you, you think it's A. And you're right! Okay, that puts you at $16,000, only six questions to go. For $32,000, here it is. What does the Latin phrase, e pubertis unum, unum mean? What a crazy life, and God we trust, for many one, for the greater good. Damn. I know this one. In God we trust? No, it is not in God we trust. I can tell you that right now. The answer is one out of many. For many, one. Out of many, one. Final answer. Final answer? I am 100% certain. Okay, you like the answer C. Huh? Your team's calling. Nice work. You're right. Got it. Got us a thousand bucks. Well, oh, thirty-two thousand actually. Thousand bucks. <laughs> well, I can go the back down again. Thirty-two thousand dollars is yours. That's ten straight correct answers. Nice going. And you've reached the $32,000 threshold, which means that money is yours, regardless of how you do in the rest of the game. Okay, you've got that $32,000 secured. Let's see if you can double it. There we go. It's gonna get hard from here. Who kills Tony at the end of the film West Side Story? With Chino, Bernardo, he kills himself. Story. Oh, shit on lies. At the end of the movie. At the end, who killed Tony? At the end. Uh, not Kyle Bush? No, it is not Kyle Bush. I think he... Tony? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. You gotta know it. We're getting Mikey back to the call. Kyle Bush. It's not Kyle Bush. It's um, Ben. Yeah. Ben. Yeah. Is, uh, is Chino one of the answers? Chino is the possible we got you cheating with us. Is that one of the answers? Yes. I believe it was him. So Chino kills Tony. I think Chino was the one who killed Tony. Alright, B, Chino, final. You're going with B, huh? He definitely killed Tony! He definitely killed Tony. Okay, you're at $64,000. Things are starting to get interesting. $125,000. Now on to the $125,000 question. $125. According to Mother Goose Nursing Line, which child is full of woe? Monday's child, Wednesday's child, Thursday's child, Saturday's child. Wednesday final. Thank you, G. So you're going with me. You got it.
million. Excellent work. You've got $125,000 in your pocket. Now for one quarter of a million dollars. Take a look. Who is an arch enemy of the cartoon superhero Underdog? Overcat, Motley, Mr. Whoopi, Dick Dastardly. Oh god, it's not B.O.D. It's not B.O.D. Cause Dick Dastardly and Motley are both in Rocky Races, so and they're both together, so it can't be those two. Right. Uh, let me see. Overcat. Oh, Mr. Whoopi. Who is the main villain of Underdog? Yeah, the arch enemy of Underdog. There you are. There you are. It's not game ID, I can tell you that right now. Let's see. The arch enemy of Underdog. Underdog. It's all for cat. I believe that it's over Okay, so... Um, which answers do you have it down to? You have it down to... Over cat. Down to over cat. Mr. Whoopi. Mr. Whoopi? Yeah. Cause it can't be Dick Dashley, cause he and Mutley are both from Mikey Races. Yeah, it, it cannot be, it cannot be Dick Dastardly and Mutley. Yeah, it cannot be Dick Dastardly and Mutley. I believe the answer is Overcat. That's why I was yep, it's thinking. Overcat. Cause Mr. Whoopi wasn't on the actual title, cause he, I think he's the scientist? Or one of these citizens to say, look, it's a bird. But we're gonna go with A over cat final. Choosing answer A. And you're absolutely Got it. Right. Two A. You're at $250,000. Get the next question right, and you'll double your money. Get it wrong, and you'll lose $218,000. No pressure. All right, let's go on for one half million dollars. What Native American tried to chief crazy horse lead? Apache? Konamachi? Soyex? Okoys? Crazy Horse? Yeah. Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse. He was... Leader of the... Apache, I think. Oh, which tribe? Yeah. Uh, 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 Yes, the old D. D. Oh, oh. It's I R O Q U O I S. L A K O T A Lakota. No, it's not there. Uh, there's Ogawa. Uh, there's also one that's O G L A L A. No. No. Which ones are there? Apache, Konamachi, Soyx, Alcoys. I think I know it. Oh, wait a minute, the Lakota Division of the Sioux. The Sioux. C-Final. Final answer? Final answer? Yes. S-I-O-U-X. It's C. And 
you couldn't be more right. This could be another star of the birthday special. Man, I'm getting nervous for you. You're just one question away. For one million dollars. Here we go. On Valentine's Day 2000, NASA's near spacecraft begin a little long orbit of our asteroid. Eros, Cupid, Everdite, Venus. Oh, and how appropriate for Valentine's Day! It's gotta be one of those three. That's gotta be one of those three. Cupid, Everdite, or Venus. And what was and what was the thing? It was NASA near spacecraft. N E. It's uh, N I. It's N E A R spacecraft. N E A R is near, but it has the acronym of near. But that's. Avadati is the goddess of love. We you know that. Yeah, Cupid. Uh, we know. That's Greek goddess. But it's also Venus, a planet. The second planet before Earth. Because you got Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Uranus. No, Santa Neptune. No, Neptune. No, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. What are the What are the um, What are the answers that they have? They got Eros, E R O S, Cupid, Aphrodite, Venus. Yeah, I think it's Eros. Yep, it is. Venus is a planet. Cupid is a well, it can be on a cubit um, asteroid because it doesn't look like the shape of either the heart or cubit, a sign of Valentine's Day when we get bitten. That's cubit's arrows. It's not. We know it's Venus. Venus is not up there because it's like it's a Venus is. It's not yet that. It's also a planet. I mean, no evidence the Greek gods so far, so there's the only one answer that comes into mind. It has to be A. It's a god of love. I, and it, I think we have to go with Eros on this one. Well, all the answer has come up to what Valentine's Day, and that was, and that was yesterday, actually. So if yeah, you kind of kind of know that was yesterday, no, it's supposed to be of yesterday's because it's appropriate for Valentine's Day, but that was never been picked to play. So A it was final. Is that your final answer? We got it! Congratulations, you're a millionaire!